what's up everybody this is Mr. I Try Hard here and well for you guys who watch my videos you know day in and day out you guys are probably wondering or asking yourselves why is he not screaming and why is he not swearing and why is he not saying boners and motherfucking jizz and swear and you know um that's probably because I want to do something different today like I like to do these every once in a while last one I did was a few months ago you guys who, are, who have been here for a long time you know you you true boners out there um you guys can probably remember it it's it's one of those you know, videos where I'm not really acting. So I'm not gonna lie, man. Mr. I Try Hard is a big part of me, but he's also not entirely me. I mean, when you think about it, when you try to make this into realism, like a lot of people are out there watching my videos who are like, oh my God, this guy's impossible. He's exaggerating everything. And you know, the, the, the usual response I have to that sort of stuff is, well, duh, you know, of course, Somebody who who would live a life like Mr. I Try Hard um, would be kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie, but I do enjoy doing all this stuff for you guys. This is this is one of the most interesting concepts that I've ever came up with. Like uh, whenever I started my channel, um, I was just being myself, right? Doing these Try Hard gameplays, hence the name Mr. I Try Hard. And then I just instinctively like not no i'm not gonna say instinctively i i just randomly did this video about how to fuck a giraffe just for funsies i was just feeling crazy that night and it went over real well and since then it's kind of snowballed into this like i went from you know 3,000 subscribers back then to right now creeping up on 34 35k i'm not really sure i don't really check that as much as i used to um and it's it's been like a crazy roller coaster ride like you know, right now, I, all I do is just, like, these these different series with Dr. Chiz and Kelly and, you know, The Nasty Show, which is all, which is going to be bad, guys. Don't worry about that. And I swear a lot. It's, it's super fun because I can be myself. Not, okay, wait, that's not the word I'm looking for. It's super fun because I can say whatever the fuck I want. And that's something that a lot of YouTubers out there don't have the luxury of doing like I, I can go out there and say that my dick is 18 inches and that by the way that's the only truth on my channel my dick is actually 18 inches long <laughs> there's a little mistake try hard for you um a lot of youtubers out there censor themselves because they want to you know keep a broad audience and stuff like that and i feel like if i don't have that i can go out and say whatever i want and people will, will react in the way that they say oh well of course this mr i try hard he's extravagant and crazy and he does some stupid shit and that's what i love about this channel and that's what i love about you guys because that's what you expect but i do want to address one thing um i made a video a while ago like a few days ago talking about a true story about how I put my dick on somebody's lips and whatnot. And oh, by the way, all those true stories are true. Um, all those uh, that that series on my channel where it says true stories on it, that's all true. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna hide that. And a lot of people were like, "Oh my God, this proves you're gay. This proves this. This proves that." And well, if you're gonna take anything from my videos and try to make it like a truth, like if you guys really want to know who I am and all that good stuff. Man, it, it makes no sense to me. It it You should never... So, unless it says true story on there, this is the rule of thumb for you guys on my videos. Don't, like, assume that it's just for funsies. This, like, this whole channel, like, this whole idea of the Mr. I Try Hard channel was just to be fun, just to have fun, goof off, uncensor yourself, swear as much as possible, you know. I mean, look, look at the series, man. Is it gay? Is... So great. Dr. Chiz does a great job on that thing, and we have a lot of fun, and, he, and he's joined in. He's become that character on Is It Gay? He's also a character on the Mr. I Try Hard channel. It's great. K-pop, the finest vagina on all land. All these YouTubers, like, you know, Dr. Chiz on his channel, he doesn't do this kind of stuff. Kelly on her channel, she, well, she, yeah, she does talk about sex, but she's not that, you know, finest vagina of all. She's different on my channel. People come to my channel, and they're, they're different. They're something that they've always wanted to be like. I'm not gonna lie. If I could be Mr. I Try Hard, that would be awesome. So, oh, and by the way, if like if <laughs> you okay, I just want to give you guys a big warning. If you guys ever meet me, like do like a fan meetup or somewhere, like whatever. If, like if I go to PAX, well, I will go to PAX. But if you guys go to PAX yourselves, and you guys meet me or whatever, and you guys want to see me and shake my hand and all that stuff, that's great. But don't expect me to be like, you know, what's up, my boner, and like grab your balls or something because that's not the way it works. Um, I'm a normal human being, man. I am. I am normal i yeah okay so i'm not gonna lie mr i Tryhard is a big part of me as well like he's one of those he's like an exaggerated 
personality. Like, okay, wait, how, how should I say? He's an exaggeration of one of my personality traits. He's, yeah, I, I guess all guys are pervs in some sense. And I'm not going to lie, I'm one of those guys too, right? And I've just taken that personality trait and exaggerated it to a point where it's insane and it's crazy and a lot of people can relate to it. And Strike Try Hard's a great idea because um, the younger ones, like the ones who are out there who are listening to this, are like idolizing him because he gets all the girls and, and he's, you know, outspoken, he's crazy, he's forward. He's like, he's like a dream. He's like my dream. I would love to be that dude. He's awesome. And the girls, they all want to change me because he's like, no, nah, Mr. Hyde's really not that bad of a guy. He's actually a sweet guy inside. <laughs> it's, it's just hilarious. It just works, right? It's just, it's 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 no secret. Oh, and by the way, the more intelligent ones, not the, okay, so the, the ones who actually take the time to think it through and who's like, no, nah, Mr. Hyde can't really exist. He's actually playing this game. Then they respect the fact that I actually took the time and, and, and thought this too. So it's like a win-win-win situation for this channel, and that's great. And I want to thank you guys for the way that you guys, for most of you guys, because I, I get I get some hate because, of course, when you go to such an extreme, um, it's pretty normal to get some haters because you are going to shock some people, right? This channel is shocking. If I don't shock you every video, except for this one because this one's kind of different, but if I don't shock you in every video... And then I don't think I've done something like I, I think I've done something wrong because um, that's what this channel's all about, man. I'm like your Howard Stern. I'm your Dr. Phil every time I do an awkward question. I'm something I'm so I've created a lot of enemies, right? I'm rambling here. I've created a lot of enemies some like through the days in YouTube. Like whenever I started, I, I met everybody like I went to PAX and I went to like uh, the fucking show in LA, Caught Elite, and I met everybody, and everybody was my friend, right, it was great, it was cool, it was, I, I was non-threatening, I had 3,000 subscribers, not really growing all that much, and it was great, and then I became, like, this channel became, you know, Mr. I Try Hard, the crazy one, the nastiest commentator in all the motherfucking YouTube, and then all of a sudden, people started, like, you know, not being my friend as much, you know, but, uh, not gonna lie, there are some people out there who have stuck by me, man, you know, the K, the K, ugh. Got him. Like mumbling on my words here. The K Pops, the White Boys, the Woodies, the Wings, Dr. Chiz. Those guys, man. Like those, those fucking Fantastic Five, man. These guys have always, like, they can understand, man. You know, Merka Dirk is another one of them. Onslaught today posted one of my links on his channel. And I want to thank him for that. Um, it's great. It's crazy. And then uh, other people out there actually showed their through faces and they were like, you know, oh, well, this guy is now. He's an asshole. I, I, I just want to say to you guys, I haven't changed, I'm not different, I'm just playing something different, and you guys are mad because it's working. It's working, it's great, it's awesome. Some people out there are like listening to this, or not this, but like these videos, and they're like, oh my god, you know, this is fantastic, this is fun, this is funny, this is just for entertainment, you know, if, if you're seeing any more in this than just for funsies and laughing and LOLing your ass off then I think you're doing it wrong on my channel, man. So I, I think that that's the way things should go. So I'm, I'm running out of shit to say, so I think that's where I'm going to end the commentary. I'm going to end this shit right now. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. I'll be back to the crazy Mr. I try hard yelling and screaming and saying jizz as many times as humanly possible tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed, and please send me some more as a gay submissions because Dr. Chiz and I love doing that stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed Mr. I try hard. Bye. Bye. And no singing because this would be inappropriate. Bye.